The problem in neighborhoods from Glendale to Gilbert, Scottsdale to Surprise. As some neighbors say tenants at short term rental homes are causing chaos in certain valley communities. Jason Berry live in Phoenix to tell us how a brand new Arizona law aims to help keep the peace. Jason. Well, most short term rentals are run by responsible property owners who keep tabs on their tenants to make sure they don't get into any trouble. But there are a number of incidents where, re where renters cross the line, making life miserable for neighbors. The hope is this new law will rein in some of that bad behavior. The purpose is to add authorizations for a city. Mark Cusera enjoys relaxing in his home office, enjoying the peace and quiet of his North Phoenix neighborhood. What he doesn't like is the noise and nighttime parties that keep happening at the two short-term rental houses on his block. Drunken parties in the street, girls wandering around in string bikinis up and down the street at night, knocking on people's doors at night saying, where's the party? I can't find the party I was invited to. Loud, unruly behavior has become a growing problem at vacation rental homes across the valley, prompting Governor Doug Ducey to sign a new law this week designed to hold property owners more accountable. The new law allows Arizona cities and towns to set regulations on short-term rentals, everything from requiring permits and licenses to having the ability to issue fines. Paradise Valley Mayor Jerry Bien Wilner says it's a step in the right direction. Having consequences, and it makes sense, to bad actions gets people to pay attention and behave. And so um, in this law, there are provisions that after three incidents, uh, a license can be suspended for up to a year, and even with one bad incident, a license can be suspended for up to a year. They can pull the license. But Susan Edwards with the homeowner advocacy group Neighbors Not Nightmares tells us the new law doesn't go far enough. She says cities need more funding to help police respond to disturbances at short-term rentals, because if citations aren't issued, the short-term rental owner can't be fined. When are the police busiest? Friday and Saturday nights. When are the parties most common? Friday and Saturday nights. And how are they, if they have a shooting or a car accident, they gotta go there first. And it's just, it's, it's a stress. Homeowners like Kusera are hopeful the new law will make a difference, but he's not convinced. I don't think they've solved any of our, our problems, really. There's a lot more that needs to be done. One of the big complaints homeowners have had over the years is that it's been hard to track down the owners of these short-term rentals to file a complaint. Now the owners will be required to provide their name, address, and emergency contact information as part of the permit process. In Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.